Okay, this is day one of getting my outfit in order for... <laughs> okay, let, let's try that again. Day one of me designing for a Linda show in exactly three weeks. It looks like a bunch of crap wrapped in plastic because it is as of right now, along with all of the wig options. Who knows? We'll see. All right, so I usually lay my dresses out on a table like this for rhinestoning. Oh, she's falling. Oh, hold on. First day, I got all of this rhinestoning done already. I hung the pearls, I attached these guys. We have some on the sides over here as well. Right now, I am trying to attach the hearts that are hanging down right above the nipples, as would like any pasty tassels would. So we're gonna attach this guy to this side right here. And here's how we do it. Okay, so first I put the dress on. I used this push pin to kind of mark where I wanted it to hang from. Then I stuck one of these bad boys, just like any jewelry o-ring attachers to the mark. So I already have one like halfway in there. We're gonna pull it up through the top and hang the heart down and then just close the clasp on it. And we're just going down and rhinestoning with B6000, this really busted ass rhinestoning pen, and a ton of rhinestones. Okay, so this is where we are at. I don't even remember the last time I recorded, but I'm sorry, there was such a huge gap in the middle of creating this costume, but you know. We gotta work. I have been rhinestoning my ass off. Can't forget the charms. And I have rhinestoned this skirt all the way around. This thing is huge. It took a week rhinestoning this in my free time and it's not even that stoned, but we did the best we could. My friend Kat and I have been sewing the trim on this skirt and there's like six layers on it. And right now I am basically going in and safety pinning these layers of the skirt. And I'm gonna put it on and show you guys. Okay, so this is her. And this is what she looks like as of right now. Not the Spice Girl shirt either. Okay, so this thing is huge. And as you can see, there's just a ton of rhinestones and safety pins with pearls going up and down this thing, pinning it. This is the back that's not pinned. You can see the layers just kind of like floof out and we are pinning them in so that you can see the trim way more and to just add a little brooch safety pin moment because I kind of like how they lay just like all assorted and you know, flung on there. The way she lifts up too is so magical. She just swings on her hoops. Oh my God, I just realized there's no fucking trim there. Oh my God. So I just keep tucking the layers behind the trim. Perfect. Okay, please don't judge my nails because I just washed my hair and they're like freaking yellow from the dye. But here we are hand sewing the missing trim on that part of the skirt. 
Okay, so now I'm switching over to voice memo mode and I'm just gonna speak over the rest of this entire video. But this is me doing my makeup. This is the day of the show. And this is basically just a super sped up <laughs> version of me doing my makeup. I actually got a huge headache during the middle of this and I had to go lay down for a bit. <laughs> and then I come back and my hair's all fucking matted from me napping. She had to take a nice rest before performing for seven minutes or whatever it was on stage. Big moment. I also wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I know I haven't uploaded on YouTube for like three years or something like that. And this is kind of just my intro back into it. And I didn't even do that great of a job of like recording the process because it really did take so much work than what is perceived here. But yeah, I think you get the gist of it. I really had no actual plan for what I was doing with my makeup. I think you guys can tell from even my videos I took three years ago that I kind of just go with the flow and see what happens and the final product is what it is. The door knockers you see on the final face were literally just things that I already owned. I think I used them in a Valentine shoot in like 2020 and they had their comeback moment. We added the jewelry. I forgot to record any of the lashes or me gluing things to my face, but there you go. Use your imagination. Please do not judge this room. I have an entire video coming out of me transforming this room. By the time I've edited this, it's completely transformed. This was like absolutely my creepy gal studio for the time being. Okay, this is us walking into the gallery. I love this neon. This is actually us doing the walkthrough later on a few days later, and I'll have that in a separate video. And we have the Playboy tooth. This is a picture of what it looked like. During the show, here's Linda and I in our outfits. Didn't get to record the large bow application for you guys, but she was huge. I was carrying bow drapes everywhere, like a little princess. I couldn't actually put in the music, so I sped it up because I don't want my video removed from YouTube for copyright. Me trying to <laughs> kind of show you guys how it went in the crowd and just the environment in general. Here's Linda being my personal Kris Jenner. She's doing amazing, sweetie. I do this little divine bit. Oh, we're gonna go look at the art in my other video that I'll be coming out with soon. Here are some gloves that I actually put on and I glued my nails on for the night and then put the gloves on immediately after. I was trying to pull the gloves off and they just did not come off because they were glued to my hands. So yeah, there's that. We performed a little Aisha erotica. Here is a shot of my ass which shows my <laughs> bodysuit that is unclipped at the crotch and it was like that for the entire show and i did not realize until after i got home and de-dragged completely we're serving we had a sunglasses reveal here's us with chrissy who also performed that night and here's another shot of the crowd it was really just insane the line was around the block for the entire night Shout out to people who waited so long to get into this incredible show. Here's me with Neo and Nina. Linda had Neo perform, who just won Dragula. Incredible. The gang that night who showed up to support. Here's this little picture that somebody took of me that I absolutely had to include because it was like a paparazzi photo. And then I had to go in the DMs and ask him for it. <laughs> As a non-celebrity, I was like, can I have that? Anyways, that's it. Final shot of the shoes that I planned on returning, but didn't because they got a scuff. Bye.